Are you interested in captivating your readers and keeping them reading your book way into the early hours of the morning? Well then this book might be for you. Today we're going to talk about a Mastering Suspense, Structure, and Plot by Jane K. Cleland, which is a writing craft book. Jane K. Cleland writes mysteries, thrillers, crime fiction, middle grade espionage, and the successful Josie Prescott Antiques Mysteries series. While most people think suspense is only for mystery and thriller writers, the concepts in this book can be implemented for any genre. This book is split into two parts. The first part is more of the pre-writing stage, which is the thinking stage, the brainstorming stage, while the second part has to do more with the writing stage and the drafting stage. I read this book last year during my writing retreat at the Highlights Foundation. If you're interested in seeing that vlog, I will link that in the description below so you can check that out after this video. But once I read this book, I was absolutely hooked on all of the concepts that Jane goes through in her nonfiction writing craft novel. Now at the time that I picked up this book, I was thinking about my next project, which is a young adult thriller. So when I picked it up, I didn't realize at the time that this was for all genres, so I got a great surprise. In the first part of this novel, Jane goes through how to analyze whatever genre you're writing and the importance of structure when it comes to a novel. Most notably, she introduces Jane's plotting roadmap. This graphic literally changed my writing life. It might seem a little confusing at first. When I first saw it, I was a little bug-eyed and I thought, how am I supposed to follow this? Because there's TRDs and SRs and all of these acronyms that I was just very confused. But once I go through what all of these mean, you have the potential to have your mind blown just as mine was. Now this middle section right here is the highway. And these are your primary plot TRDs. Now you will see TRD in this book a lot and it basically it just stands for twists, reversals, and danger. So a twist takes a reader in an unexpected direction. A reversal takes the story in an unexpected direction than the reader expects. And danger outlines moments of heightened danger, whether it is physical danger or emotional danger. And Jane also outlines how frequent these TRDs should be happening based on the pace of your book. Now, if you are looking at a thriller, you would want them to happen more often because you want to keep the pace really high. Now, if you have a slower pace novel, you may spread out these TRDs a little more, but having them present will always grip that reader and make them hold on to the book tighter and not want to put it down. As these TRDs are broken down, I was really able to hone in on where I wanted to go with my book. Jane goes into all of these a little further in her book and I don't want to do too many spoilers because I think by the end of this review you may want to pick up the book yourself. Now in her method you're not necessarily looking at the book as a whole when you are outlining it. You are looking for basically the next TRD. So it reminds me of the analogy, I forget who said it, I'm paraphrasing here, but it is comparing writing to driving a car at night that you can really only see as far as your headlights go, but eventually you will get to your destination. I'm a visual learner and when I saw this roadmap and understood what all of the different sections meant, I was absolutely hooked. This literally gives you a roadmap on how to write your book. While I was on my writing retreat, I used Jane's method to take my already semi-outline for my book and outline my TRDs for my main plot of my story. Using this method, I was able to find a twist, reversal, or danger, and then find the next one, and the next one, and the next one, and it really broke it down into little pieces that I was able to eventually, like that car driving at night, get to the final destination. This was the most productive I had been plotting in a long time before I read this book. Looking at the roadmap again, if you're still a little bit confused, those service roads are your subplots. As you can see, they move along with the roadmap and are crafted in a way to increase suspense and tension throughout the book 
along with your main plot. While the plotting section of this book has so much great information, the next section goes into techniques on how to strengthen these concepts within your writing. Throughout the entire book, when it comes to either the plotting section or the writing section, there are so many great examples that reiterate these concepts over and over and in many different genres. So romance, fantasy, sci-fi, any of those and beyond, I believe that if you are a writer of those genres, any genre, you could use this book too. And we also follow several case studies as well throughout the entire book, which again reiterates these concepts. I really appreciated these because if a concept didn't click with me right away, I was able to see different types of examples on how they could relate to my own books. And as you can already tell, I do love this book and how versatile it is for pretty much any writer. Now this book is about 224 pages, which seems like a lot, but it read very quickly for me. And for a price point, it's currently sitting on Amazon for $6.99 and a little over $15 in paperback on Amazon as well. I didn't cross-examine a bunch of different websites, but I think it's a great price point. I got this at my library bookstore. They had an event there and I only got it for $3, but I totally would have paid the $7 or the $15 to get this because it is so invaluable to me and I honestly can't imagine my life before I read this book. So my biggest takeaway with this book was Jane's Roadmap, but like I said, there's so much other information in here for writers of any genre and I am interested in if you think that Jane's Roadmap could possibly work for you. If you're interested in another review of mine, you can check out the link on your screen right now. And if you enjoyed this video, do give it a like so I will post more reviews soon for writing craft books. Hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you know the next time I upload and I will see you soon.